Black Forest Lab, the creators of celebrated Flux One Dev model, have just released this Flux One Context Pro and Max model. And in this video, we are going to try it out on various prompts. This is Fahad Mirza, and I welcome you to the channel. Normally, I prefer to cover the models which we can locally install, which are free, which are Apache 2, but the model is so good and the creators are so celebrated that i am covering this model in this video so this model is created by black forest lab who are the creators of this amazing flux one dev model that we have covered in literally hundreds of videos on the channel so if you just go to my channel search with flux one dev you will find hundreds and hundreds of videos around it uh, we have covered it, the actual models, its variants, its flavors, its fine tunes, its LoRa's and various other tools as you can see here. And that is why I am so excited to share with you this Flux1 context model. It's a breakthrough image editing model suite from Black Forest Lab that unifies image generation and, and editing in a single architecture, understanding both text and visual inputs to enable true context aware editing capabilities. The model excels at preserving character consistency across multiple scenes, applying surgical lo local edits without affecting other parts of images and maintaining stylistic coherence through iterative refinement. And that is what we are going to test it out. I will drop the link to it in video's description. At the moment, as I said, this is not an open source model. This is not a free model. It is only available dot at fall.ai and I will drop the link in video's description. So you would need to go to their website, sign up. Once you sign up, they give you $1 in credit US. I'm not sure how long that will last. I have just signed up and I will try it out on various benchmarks to see how exactly this works until my credit runs out. This video is not sponsored by fall or black forest lab, lab by any means um, it comes in uh, three variants max pro and dev dev is not released released yet hopefully when that gets released it will be available in open source and free on hugging face and we will then install it locally until then let's try out this max and pro i am at the moment at max which uh, which is the premium model and then bit more economical is the pro model and you can read further about it here and i will tell you a bit more about it later down the road so if you look here the input prompt is put a donut next to the floor and look at this so this is the actual image and once the prompt is run this is a donut which has been placed here so all they have done they have given the prompt here and then they have given the um, reference image here let me make it slightly bigger the window i mean Okay, that is much better. Now, if I just scroll down, this will cost you around 8 cents. So let's see how much images I can do. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to select one of my own image and then I will uh, apply some of the prompts. So I have just selected one of my own image here. And by, by the way, this is the AI stylized image. So let me do the prompt here. So I'm asking it to transform this into a, a 1980s synth wave aesthetic while keeping the same person let me run this and maybe we will check the so this is a seed uh, guidance skill means that how strictly it follows your prompt so i'm just going to keep as is I, I just want one image safety tolerance yes and then output format i'll just keep everything as is so let me run this and we will also i just want to let it run so that you would also see how long does it take Meanwhile, um, as I said, there are three variants which serve different needs. Context Pro is built for iterative editing for workflows with state-of-the-art performance, high quality outputs and great prompt following. And this, the one which we have just used is Context Max that offers maximum performance with exceptional prompt adherence, advanced typography handling and premium rendering quality with no compromises on speed and the speed is quite good so this is me i will let you be the judge so this is the original one this is the 1980s one not bad i would say i mean uh, not earth shattering but still uh, it's okay 
okay how about if we uh, do maybe edits now which is a sort of claim of fame of this so i'm going to say add sunglasses to the person while keeping everything identical so i've just gone with my own image let's run it i will keep keep talking about the image uh, architecture a bit more so as i said um, max I, we already covered now another thing is that the context dev whenever it comes will be an open weight guidance digital version designed to be the fast and fastest and most co cost affordable option in the family there you go so this is me what do you think don't you think my eyebrows are little bit thick or maybe i'm too nitpicky i think this is not bad at all we will take it okay pretty good i would say okay maybe i will um, change the color of the shirt so i'm just saying it change the shirt color to deep red maybe what is the cost here again 0.8 i still have 92 cents available let's run this i'm just going to change the color of the shirt shouldn't take too long and there you go you see it's a red shirt which is i think exceptionally good it is exceptionally good very very well done i mean we expect nothing less from black forest lab to be honest okay uh, now i want it to replace the background with a beach sunset or maybe i will change the image now so i have given it this wedding scene and i'm asking it to replace the background with a beach sunset while keeping the subject in the exact same position let's see oh wow can you believe this can you believe this this is out of this world this is out of this world slight difference as you can already tell probably especially in the female but other than that it's really really cool very very nice okay next up i have given it this image which i used uh, generated from ai for another video uh, video and i'm asking it that move the indoor scene to a cozy coffee shop setting so let me show you the original this is original this is a coffee shop how good is that how good is that okay how much uh, i still have 68 cents you see the poor youtuber uh, anyway so let's select another image and now i'm going to change the hairstyle to a different cut while preserving identity in this ai generated image let's check wow look at that you see it has kept the blonde hair and there's no change in rest of the image just the haircut is gone okay that is very nice okay next up i am replacing the woman with a man in this image let's see if it can do that should be fun to watch and this is again all the images i'm using they're all ai generated and my own okay <laughs> there you go okay so it hasn't really changed uh, the attire and other things but you can see that thankfully it hasn't done the other stuff uh, you know what i mean but uh, pretty interesting pretty interesting you see there is some slight malformation in this image it has kept it cool Okay, next up, I have given it this bar chart and I'm asking it to convert the bar color to shades of pink. Let's see if it is able to do that or not. There you go. Oh, wow, it can. And it has retained all the text. So it can do the text very well. I will be testing it a bit more on text too, but look at this. This is sublime. What do you think? How many? Okay, I still have 44 cents available. Next up, I have given it this photo of Sydney, which is black and white. It's an iconic Sydney Harbour Bridge. There you go. So I just asked it to make this photo colored and it has colored it. This is sublime, really, it's really, really sublime. And now I'm going to test out some uh, text, if it can print the text. Okay, I'm not sure why it is saying NSFW content. It is not NSFW. It's my AI generated image. Or maybe the person resembles to someone. 
okay let's try out another one okay interestingly enough with every sign uh, it is saying nsfw content and i'm just saying make the girl hold or maybe i'll just say the girl holding a white sign that says maybe it is just a prompt the way it is worded i'm not sure let's check it out now okay interesting now it is working so i think you have to make sure that your prompt is not something off so this is the actual image and this is a new image you see now the girl is also smiling and the letters are written fine the hand is also quite good pretty good pretty good okay this one is nice and with this um, i have run out of my credit now i can already tell you this is really this shows black forest lab quality this is really exceptional i can't wait to have that context model the dev one available so that we could get it installed locally and then play around with it before i let you go uh, and of course you, you guys don't listen to me maybe listen to her and subscribe to the channel and like the video and share it before i let you go let me also introduce you to our very good friend at matrix matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as a b tests for your marketing captions that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies and i will drop the link to the website in video's description thank you very much for all the support